Hello everyone. My name is Vijay Shupuji, and uh, today I'm giving. Uh, I'm here to give you some information about uh, the Kapila scheme, uh, which is a Kalam program for IP literacy and awareness for uh, higher education institutions. Uh, this the all the details are available on uh, the uh, Ministry of Education's uh, website. The entire uh, information, uh, 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 like, you know, uh, whatever I'm covering in this session. Uh, so the web link is also provided. I'm just sharing this video just so that let you know, understand what this scheme is, how you can get benefited as a higher educational institution uh, through this particular scheme. Uh, so Ministry of Education runs uh, uh, this uh, uh, Kapila scheme and, uh, like, you know, uh, those institutions which have uh, uh, Innovation Institution Council IICs, they are eligible to file uh, under this particular scheme, actually. The scheme is about a funding support for patent application filing and examination fees. Uh, uh, recently, they have come up with this uh, uh, registrations for 20, academic year 2023-24. Uh, you can apply before 18th of July, 2023. Uh, let me also tell you why I'm speaking uh, on this particular topic. I've been a patent agent working with a lot of higher education institutions, uh, academic institutions uh, or universities, which are like, you know, mostly into the life sciences domain, the uh, pharmacy, uh, biotechnology, botany, uh, life sciences, as well as uh, a few uh, engineering institutions. I also been part of at least 15 IICs as a member, uh, uh, including for a M management school, uh, as well as an engineering school and a lot of pharmacy schools in Maharashtra, uh, Goa, Gujarat and Chhattisgarh. Uh, as well, as well, I've been actively involved into filing and prosecution of patent applications for these academic institutions uh, under the banner of Patlex Business Solutions. And we also do these uh, training programs under the banner of Pharma Literati, which is now part of Edu Literati Group. Now, what is this Kapila scheme and how can you get benefited? Uh, if you know the scheme there are certain changes that are done in, in this year actually for under this particular scheme i uh, will try to cover those uh, things the, so the scheme is for it stands for kapila it stands for kalam program for ip literacy and awareness it's a scheme that provides financial assistance to the institutions that are part of the higher education uh, institutes for filing of a patent application. Remember, this scheme is only for filing of a patent application by higher educational institutions. Now, uh, who are eligible? All those institutes that are part of the HEIs, that those are higher educational institutions, as well as those have IICs, Innovation Institution Council, and if your IIC is registered on the MOE's website, Ministry of Education's website, and if there is any patent file from 15th October 21, uh, then they are like, you know, eligible to apply for this particular scheme. The deadline for the current 2023-24 phase one is 18th July 2023. You can check on the Kapila's website as such. Uh, like, you know, uh, how to apply uh, uh, and uh, all other details basically for uh, for uh, that particular scheme. Now, under this scheme, uh, like, you know, so most of the higher academic institutions or higher educational institutions have got the IICs now. And these IICs are registered under MOE. Now, what you need to do is uh, you have already a user registration and login uh, created. Uh, you file the patent details actually, uh, like you know. Uh, so you also have to create a Kapila committee at your institute, okay? And that committee details are to be submitted to the Ministry of Education, uh, that ISC website has. Now, I'm also part of Kapila committee at some of the academic institutions as such. And uh, what is this committee about? What it does, we'll see in the next. Uh, uh, slide as such, but then 
you have to create registration, a user registration login, uh, file the PHN details and submit the documents, bare minimum documents like a uh, patent application filing fee receipt, examination fee receipts, minutes of meeting and statement of expenses and other supporting documents as required by the Kapila schema and such. Now, expert committee, uh, like, you know, there are certain guidelines that are provided uh, like, you know, under the uh, uh, expert committee for Kapila, the competent and experienced expert committee should be involved in evaluating the patents. HCS need to ensure in-house participation uh, for, uh, like, for from the faculty, students, and staff. Institute may invite any number of experts for the evaluation for the submitted ideas as per their convenience. Now, this is where my role is as a patent agent. I can evaluate all the inventions, the master's thesis, the PhD thesis that are coming from any academic institution. We evaluate that for basic patentability, novelty, non-obviousness, industrial applicability, and patentability under section three and section four, right? Now, the honorarium for experts must be borne by the institute. It is not part of the Kapila scheme. Minutes of meeting of expert committee and the evaluation report should be maintained and submitted at MOE's innovation cell on need basis. Now, what does this mean? So you have a committee, you have inventions coming under this Kapila committee. Uh, and then we are evaluating as a patent agent, we are generating a specific report, which inventions need to be filed as patents, which inventions are patentable, and which of these inventions may not be patentable. These reports need to be maintained if required. Ministry of in, uh, in, uh, like, you know, uh, like, you know, uh, innovation, MOE, ISE may ask for these documents as well. So that's how it works for the committee at the institution level. Remember, all these things are happening at institution level. You are just providing these details to MOE, that is Ministry of Education, Innovation Institution Council, whenever required. Now, uh, there is a change actually for uh, like, you know, last year, there were 10 inventions uh, which were allowed under Kapila reimbursement scheme. Remember, this is a reimbursement scheme. This is not an upfront grant. So you file it and then you get it back from the MOE at, in the institution's name. Now, last year, it was 10 inventions, 5,600 5, rupees per invention. 56,000 was the amount that you were getting. Why 5,600? The fees for academic institutions under the, under the, I would say, uh, uh, latest uh, changes in the fees in September 21 is 1,600 for an academic institution and 4,000 rupees for request for examination. So 5,600. A uh, Kapila scheme doesn't bear the cost of an attorney or a patent agent basis. Now, under this particular scheme, now the uh, earlier it was just 10 applications. Now, maximum 40 applications per year can be uh, like, you know, eligible for Kapila committee actually uh, under this new scheme or uh, new changes that have happened to the scheme. Ads. But till last year, you were getting full 5,600. That is sixteen hundred for the filing fees and four thousand for the four thousand for the uh, request for examination fees. This year, Kapila scheme would be covering just fifty percent of the amount as a reimbursement after submitting the receipt, filing receipt, and the request for examination. That is examination fee. The patent application will not be funded if the application doesn't have institute as an applicant, this is most important thing for the inventions. If your institute have got faculties or students who are filing individually, 
without naming the institute as applicant remember the applicant has to be the institute only uh, if you are including the inventors uh, like you know uh, individuals as applicants and putting institute as an address you are not eligible for this scheme this is very clear under kapila now how much money is getting reimbursed as i said 800 for a uh, patent application filing fee so you are paying 1600 out of that 800 they are giving request for examination you are paying 4000 out of that 2000 you are getting so 2800 and per application 40 maximum that turns out around 1 lakh 12000 this 40 applications per institute per year that is allowed per institute per year 40 patent applications that's allowed okay now that's how that's how the reimbursement scheme actually uh, for this uh, kapila actually works all the details are shared on the website uh, kapila.mic.gov.in the phone number as well as the email address is provided here uh, this scheme is run by aict a ministry of education uh, under the banner of IIC as such and this Kapila scheme has been really successful in increasing the patent applications in academic institutions as such. Get benefited uh, by, by this scheme but just remember certain requirements. The application need to be filed by in the name of institute only. Applicant has to be institute. Your IIC must be registered on Ministry of Education's website as well as as well as your kapila committee internal committee should have the records uh, which can be submitted to the uh, uh, moeic whenever required and maximum 40 inventions or 40 patent applications per in uh, per inventions you'd be getting 2800 rupees and maximum benefit is for 1 lakh 12000 rupees so uh, the, as I said, the deadline is 18 July 2023 and uh, I'm sure uh, this uh, video is uh, helpful for you. If you uh, if you like uh, the video, please, uh, please uh, like, you know, if you feel this is useful, please share this, like it and also subscribe to our YouTube channel Pharma Literati, which is now a part of the group Edu Literati. Thank you.